I loved someone too. The person I loved, I lost. He was a boy, just a boy, when I was a very young girl. And at 16, well, I made the discovery, love. All at once and much, much too completely. It was like he'd suddenly turned a blinded light on something that had always been half in shadow. That's how it struck the world for me. But I was unlucky, deluded. There was something different about the boy, a nervousness, a softness and tenderness which wasn't like a man's. Although he wasn't the least behemoth looking. But still, that thing was there. He came to me for help. I didn't know that. I didn't find out anything until after our marriage. When we'd run away and come back. And all I knew was I'd failed him in some mysterious way wasn't able to give him the help that he needed, but couldn't speak of. He was in the quicksands, clutching at me, but I wasn't holding him out. I was slipping in with him. I didn't know that. I didn't know anything except I loved him unendurably but without being able to help him or help myself. Then I found out. In the worst of all possible ways. By coming suddenly into a room which I thought was empty, which wasn't, but had two people in it. The man I'd married and an older man, which had been his friend for years. Afterwards, we pretended nothing had been discovered. You know, we all drove out to Moon Lake Casino, all three of us. You know, very drunk and laughing all the way. We danced the Vesuviana. <laughs> And suddenly, in the middle of the dance floor, the boy I'd married broke away from me and ran out of the casino. A few moments later, a shot. I ran out. We all did. All ran and gathered around the terrible thing at the edge of the lake. I couldn't get near for the crowding. And then somebody caught my arm. Don't go any closer. You don't want to see. See? See what? Then I heard voices say, Alan, Alan, the gray boy. He stuck the revolver in his mouth and, and fired. The back of his head had blown away. And then the searchlight, which had been turned on the world, was turned off again. And never for one moment since has there been anything brighter than this kitchen candle. <laughs>